Good Monday morning team Northern Michigan. We'll take a look at your forecast. Now we have a very warm day in store for us. In fact, today will be the warmest day of the week with highs about 20 degrees or so above normal for this time of year. Now it's due to a warm front. You can see right where it's lying here, right along the Minnesota, Iowa, and then Wisconsin, Illinois border headed over into the Ohio Valley here. Now north of that warm front, we're seeing temperatures right now in the 40s, 44 in International Falls, 44 in Traverse City. And if that's not warm enough, south of the front, we're seeing temperatures 63 in St. Louis, 59 over in Indy, 57 in Des Moines this morning. Now, this warm front is going to push its way on through. So as it does, we're going to see very warm temperatures. A lot of us hitting the 50s for today, but also going to touch off some scattered showers, keep us in a lot of cloud cover, and then possibly give us some thunderstorms in the afternoon and then overnight tonight. Now, the other thing that we do have going on is a low pressure system north of the Dakotas. That's going to head our way, and that's going to cool us down a little bit with its accompanying cold front and touch off a little bit of snow. So let's take a look at Stormcast now. As we go throughout the day today, like I said, very overcast. We're going to see the first round of showers around 4 o'clock this afternoon. So unfortunately for those of you that have some after school activities or when you're getting ready to head home from work, might get stuck in some of those rain showers. Then they continue across the area as we go throughout the overnight hours. The good news is those we start our Tuesday morning. A lot of us remain dry. We'll see a little bit of sunshine, but especially for the northernmost counties, we are going to see right around dinner time or so. The first rounds of some lake effect snow flurries, not a lot of accumulation expected. And as we head into Wednesday morning, there might be a few of those lingering, but they quickly diminish and going throughout the day on Wednesday, we'll see a lot of sunshine, but we're also going to cool down quite a bit as our highs get down into the 30s starting Wednesday. We do have a dense fog advisory in effect for the counties highlighted in orange that goes until 11 o'clock this morning. Now in those counties, especially visibilities could be a quarter mile or less at time. So just be aware of that. You might need to give yourself extra time. We also have a small craft advisory for these near shore waters highlighted in pink. For some of these areas, it goes until six o'clock in the morning on Wednesday. So if you are headed out on the waters, make sure that you look up your local area and find out what time it goes until. Here's a look at your seven day forecast and we do have those showers lingering, possible thunderstorms a little bit into your Tuesday and then Wednesday things start to clear out. We see the most sunshine then and then Thursday and Friday we do bring in our next chance of a little bit of wintry mix highs remaining in the 30s, but right around that freezing mark. And then as we head towards the next weekend, we're back in the low 30s and we also bring in a chance of scattered flurries. Thanks for clicking at upnorthlive.com.